hello family welcome back to the channel i hope you're all doing well and doing good so today's video i'm going to be answering some of your questions i'm going to be happy to answer some of your questions also be giving my point of view be advising i'm going to be answering some of these questions that i best know how to answer so if you new here then you are welcome we are glad that you are here if you're new hit that red subscribe button the one that is just up there to be subscribed if you over goodies as we always say thanks for stopping by on this channel we talk a whole lot we talk beauty fashion lifestyle development yeah. especially development in liberia because this is where we really want to see development so if you like this kind of content then please stick around subscribe to our channel be part of our tribe and part of our community if you over goodies as we always say thanks for stopping by if you retain it thank you for coming back to this channel we're not going to waste too much time we're going to get straight into the question if you have more questions please send those questions in because there's somebody out there that depending on those questions that you have sent or you will be sending to know how to go about whatever they want to do your questions and questions are very very important for us to read to others so that they know how to go about especially when it comes to building yeah, i don't know it all but if you have something to add up to contribute to some of the questions that will be asking today then please go ahead leave that comment in the description box down below you can also email me some of your comments or your questions if you have more questions to ask you can email me those questions if you don't want to put it down in the description so we're not going to waste any time let's get straight into the questions so the first question i'll be reading here today the person is saying how to buy a front land in Morovia? Okay, this person want to buy a front land in Morovia. Um, I think they really want it to be in Morovia because there are so many front land in different counties. As we've been saying on this channel, we want other counties to be developed. So if you can, you know, think about other counties to buy front land, this is your time for you to do that because those places, there are so many areas that are front view, but people are not really um, turning to that side because they think that Morovia is all to it. Mor Morovia is not like Bibia. We're always saying this. Morovia is not like Bibia. There is life in the other counties that we can go to and develop. Anyways, you said how to own a front land. Buying a front land in Morovia, to be frank with you, it's not easy. If you are there listening to me, then listen very well because I don't want you to be a loser when it comes to front land front land in Morovia to get it except you have um, the right owner you have to do your background checks to know that the front land is ready for the person that says they own it it's a risky game right now in Morovia because Morovia is so populated and if you're buying a front land I'm not saying you cannot find a front land in Morovia you can do but you just want to make sure that that front land is for the right person if you get the front land it's not going to be cheap because most times front lands are for businesses so front lands can be very very expensive so if you want to buy a front land there is a possibility that you're going to find a front land in Morovia but you want to be really careful in buying your front land and it's going to cost you not less than um 20 25 almost you're talking about 30 thousand us dollars so you got to be prepared to get a front land and you got to know who um to go to to get your front land our next question here it says what are the different lands in like in morovia like we have different land. i'm not um a land specialist i'm not that's that is not my area but i'm going to tell you that um we got swamp land we got um, high ground land so if you got a swamp land you want to build you got to know how to go about it i have made um two or three or a lot of videos about swamp land and high ground land all of that if i don't forget i'm going to link it up here so you can or i'll link it in the description so you can go and watch them and you will have more ideas of um, what the different lands that um, people can build on so you have the swamp land you have the high ground land you also have the beach land the sea area 
so these places when you want to build you got to know how you're going to go about it because there are different level there are different soil there and there's different ways of building if you get in a swamp lane you want to make sure that that land is really filled up good you know filled up really well before you can even start your foundation and if you start in your foundation you want to make your foundation higher that it won't be you know sloping down but it'll be on a higher level so it's good to talk to the professional that is not my area so i'm not going to go deep into that so yes there are so many different lanes in liberia that you can buy and you can build on but you just need to know how to go about the ice the professionals they will give you more advice our next question here is um how do you build in liberia with all the headache but not only liberia building anywhere in the world is difficult it's not easy it's not cheap it's not it doesn't come easy if you want to build it doesn't come easy i tell you it takes money it takes time it takes effort it takes endurance it takes patience and it takes everything that you have to make it successful if you build in any part of the world these are things that you experience but you just have to know how you're going to go about the whole thing strategies to go about it you have to have enduring you know there are lots of things that you need to really buckle yourself on to be able to be successful in building if you want to build it is good for you to find you know someone that's going to help you i will carry on this journey from the start to the end it makes it easier so try and build that relationship with your workers so that they stay from the start to the end that also help with the headache because the more you tend to you know find new people you have to keep explaining and you don't know their behavior you don't know how they're going to do the job it takes time if you have a group of people that you already trust and you guys have been working together for some time now it's good to hold on to them keep them around treat them good um surprise them give them gifts and keep the relationship going it helps to uh, relax you and not go too much into the struggle of um, talking to people over and over because the more you tend to work with people they, they follow your view they follow your style and try to work along with you which makes it easier so our next question here says where do you find durable building materials and their prices there are a lot of um, durable building materials around you have um, different stores you just need to check around you need to go there yourself compare the price sometimes those good ones you know may be a little bit higher but don't mind that it's good to go for the durable ones they tend to last longer than going for the cheap ones so one of those places that i really admire is um city builders city builders have good quality building materials they are expensive but yes their product is very good so our advice if you want to get durable building materials check city builders out they have city brothers they have sony brothers and you know just shop around check around i'm sure that there are different places that you can get good building materials from and their prices may be various but it depends on the quality i'm sure that when you're building you want to put um quality uh, materials on your building so you have to be mindful of um whatever building materials Next question i got here is is it late to build now is it late to build there is nothing late it is not late to build you can build now you are not late in building so nothing is too late if you have the strength if you have the courage if you have the mindset you can do whatever you want this is the right time to build if you own that land start to build something on it now if you haven't got a land, try to look for one and start to build. So it is never too late to build. Put your mind to it. Put your effort. You can build now. And now is the time. You don't want to leave it too long. Do not limit yourself. It is never too late to do the things that you want to do. The last question I will be, be answering today. I want to build now, but I found it very, very difficult because I'm not based in Liberia. How can I go about this? It is very, very easy. You don't have to be based in Liberia to build. 
it's all left with how you're going to go about it there are so many ways you can build and there are companies that can build your house for you all you need to do is tell them the kind of house you want you send them your design they will build a house for you you don't have to pay all of the money at once you can pay in installment so there are companies there that are doing it also there are other means of building if you have your trusted family member they can build that house for you you also do yourself build i know you say you're not based in liberia but whenever you go to liberia you can do something like if you go into liberia in two or three months time you can program yourself that when you get there you will be doing foundation and only foundation you stop there and then the next time you do another thing that's your self build you take your time to build your house it just needs you to you know put yourself together strategize so finally i hope this video have answered some of your burning questions and today i just thought that i should do this video to answer some of these questions there are more questions there but we just have time for this field so we will be doing another video i just want to say thank you so much for stopping by if you're new to the channel, please hit that red subscribe button to be subscribed to this channel. If you over goodies, as we always say, thanks for stopping by. If you return it, thank you for coming back. We are happy you are back. Help your girl out to like, to comment, and to subscribe. It means a whole lot to us when you subscribe, when you comment, and you like the video. We will be glad if you are part of our tribe and part of our community. Until then, I will see you in the next one. You have a good day. I love you. Take care. Bye.